So Google just dropped this brand new experimental AI app and I've been playing around with it. And honestly, it's way more powerful than I ever thought it would be. Now let's get one thing straight. Is this going to go toe to toe with the absolute behemoths like Gemini 2.5 Pro or what you'd get from Claude 4 or even Grok 3? No, not quite. But, and this is a pretty big but, the way this thing works opens up some insanely useful, incredibly powerful scenarios that those big cloud AIs cannot touch. So what is the magic here? Well, for starters, and this is the really cool part, it is all running locally. It runs right here on your phone. So that means there is zero internet required once you have it all set up which is really easy to do. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. So there is the Google AI Edge GitHub and they have this repository called Google AI Edge Gallery. And I'll have links in the description below for you. And apparently this is coming to iOS in the near future, but they do have this APK here that you can click, you can download it, download it on your Android device and you can install it and you can get access to this right now. And if you have iOS, well, it is coming in the near future, but keep watching as I can show you exactly what this app is and some really powerful use cases, especially considering this is completely free. Once you have the APK downloaded on your Android phone, you want to click it, install it. And once you have it installed, it's going to look like this. So the first thing we're going to do is turn on airplane mode. So, you know, I am not connected. We're going to come back to the app. It's called Google AI edge gallery. And there are three options here so we can pick AI chat and I'll go into some of the other settings in this video and I'll show you how to use it fully, but we can see all the different models we have. So we can select the model. We can see more information about it. If we do not have it downloaded, it will say download and try versus try we can click try and now we can start talking to our model. So I'm making a YouTube video about you say hello and we can submit that through and you can see how fast this thing is. This is all on my phone. Airplane mode is enabled. They ha we have no internet. It is just working here locally. We can see the stats. We can actually configure the model and you can go more fine tune and make it more advanced and we can make it more random by adjusting the temperature. We can even flip to C CPU instead of GPU, depending on the phone you have. So I'm using a pixel fold and it works pretty quickly. So there are some really cool use cases because this is all local on your phone with no internet. Before I get to that, we can also import a model. There's also some very basic settings in terms of do we want light, dark, or what we want to use from our system. And it also is using Hugging Face, so it requires a Hugging Face account if you want to use the built-in models, or you can just import your own from a file. That was AI Chat. It's just a very simple chat interface, but there are two other things. One is called Prompt Lab, one is called Ask Image, and we're gonna go through both. Prompt Lab is really cool and really useful. So there are some things along the top here and we can kind of scroll through. So let's hit summarize text. I'm just gonna paste in a random wall of text and then we can hit submit. It is going to come back with a bullet point form information about what this text is about. So we can see here, here's our bullet point. It is very fast and there are some options here. So we can make it a short paragraph, a summary, a headline title, or a one sentence summary. So we can take large pieces of information and we can have it summarize it. And this data goes nowhere but your phone. So say for your work, you don't wanna share your data out publicly. It can all stay here. There's also this rewrite tone, which is really cool. So I'm sick, I don't want to do the work today. For my boss, let them know I will not be coming to work. It makes it sound a little bit better. We can also change from formal to friendly or casual or polite. There's all these different options to draft our emails to make it sound better for whatever situation we're in. And again, no cloud, no nothing. It just all works locally. Probably the coolest use case is this ask image. So we can click this and these models are a little bit bigger. These are like three gigs is the lowest one you can have the four gig as well. And this one, you can only use a CPU. I couldn't get to work with my GPU, but we can actually pick an image. So we gave it an image of a menu in Japanese, and we can actually say, translate this menu. It is going to be using the CPU and it's going to translate this menu for us. And you can see it has come back and it is starting to translate exactly what is on the menu. And I know what you're thinking, hey, you can use 
different products that already do this. But keep in mind, a lot of those require internet. This is completely local, offline, no data, no internet, and it just works. As I mentioned in the beginning, it is incredibly powerful to have access to a large language model that works everywhere all the time, regardless of where you are. So imagine you're in a rural area, you have no cell service, you have access to a large language model that can help you with a lot of different things. And the fact that this is completely free, it's a no brainer to get this installed on your phone. And I'm sure there's so many other ways and different applications you can use this and again, you have it everywhere all the time. So if you have some cool ideas of how you'd use this, let me know in the comments below. I think it is really cool just from like a translation perspective or say maybe you're on a plane and you wanna do some quick coding and you have a question. Well, guess what? You have a large language model in your pocket that will always work. It is always there. It is always ready to help you. If you guys enjoy content like this, don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis and you can stay up to date in a field that is changing so quickly. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like it. It tells the algorithm you enjoy content like this and you want to see more of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. You're meant to be